and let's get going. We're just going to warm up. So today's class is quite a kind of pure Pilates class today. Sometimes I like to just slow it down, do some proper pure Pilates, my version of it, obviously, rolling the shoulders back, get your thoracic spine moving. Um, if anything is uncomfortable or too tough, I will always give other options. And if anything is sore, please don't do it. Okay, and let me know afterwards what hurts. Nice. Rolling the shoulders. We all need to loosen up after a day of sitting at a desk, I'm sure. Not for me, but for you. Yep. Nice. And rolling the shoulders out like this. Like a walk like the Egyptian kind of move. Just rolls up the rotator cuff muscle. That's it. Lovely. Good, you're going to copy me, we're just going to lift your one knee up, hold for about a second, you're not going to hold it for long, and change. This is part of a dynamic warm up, we do three on each side, and this gets the muscles, joints, nerves, brain, balance, everything firing for our workout. So we just hold for a second, get our balance sensors working, and last time this side. Good, and grab under your foot and under your knee, and pulling up. That's it. And change. And pull. Good. And change. Three each side. And change. So it's just like for a second or two, not for long enough just to get everything warmed up. Last time each side. And the side. How was it, Tracy? Joy, then we just started. You're going to grab your foot behind you, knees together, touch your bottom in, and reaching up. That's it, and change. Nice, reaching up, knees together, bum squeeze, and change. Good, we're just doing dynamic warm up. Join in. Everything is just to get the muscles, the joints, the nerves, everything firing for our workout. Last time, you can either hold it here or you're going to reach forward into like an aeroplane stretch. And coming up. And let's change sides. Knees together, either holding it here, or we're going to reach forward, stretching that anterior chain. And coming up, very nice. Right, cross your right leg over your left and reach down to the floor. Coming up into the middle, open up your chest, lifting open and change sides. Just holding it for sort of a second, coming up. As you come up, opening up the chest and the arms and other sides. We're going three each side, and open, and down, and open. Sorry, I forgot to mute you guys. If you want to mute yourself, you can, otherwise it's not a problem. And last time. Good, thank you. Sorry, my fault. All right, legs nice and wide. From here, you're going to slide your hands so really wide, so a little bit wider than you think. You're going to slide your hand down your right leg. Stick your bottom out behind you. Think of sticking your bum out. Slide your hands in front of you to the other side. And coming up that left leg. Nice. Try and have your back as flat as you can as you slide your hands down. Reaching forward. And up. Very nice. Two more to each side. Right. Alternating. Down. Reach as far forward as you can when you're going through the middle and coming up. And reaching down the left leg, sliding through the middle and up. Nice. One more each side. Down the right leg. Swishing through the middle and up on that left side. Last time. Down and up on the right. Now we're going to turn to our right leg. So our right leg's in front, bend that front leg, knee is directly over your ankle, left leg out behind you straight, hands on the floor. Drop your hips down a little bit, just make sure your knee is off the floor if you can, and we're going to twist. Look up at your hands. Nice. Hands now on either side of your front foot, and reaching back, stretch that front leg out, and then bend. Nice. And twist the other way. Looking at your hand. And down. And stretch that front leg. We're going to go one more time each side. And twist. 
Look up with your hands. Nice. And down and straightening that front leg. We're going to get everybody mobile and reaching up the other side. Twist. And down and stretch that front knee. Walk your hands round through the middle to the left side. And we're going to bend that left leg, knee over ankle. Make sure it's a nice, perfect position so you don't hurt your knee. Right leg out behind you and let's twist. Look up at your hands. Hands on the floor. So it works a little bit of balance. Hands on either side of the front leg and straighten the knee. And down, twist the other way. Hands on either side of the front foot and stretch. And down, nice. One more each side. And up. Good. And down and stretching that front knee. And bend. And last time, twist. And down and stretch that front leg. Walk to the middle with both legs straight. Walk your feet in towards each other and curling up one vertebra at a time, pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Head is the last thing to come up. Very nice. Our first exercise, we're going to start in standing, standing on your left leg. You're going to reach out in front of you, so you make like a capital T. Whoops, losing my balance. Don't do that. That's what not to do. And then you're going to tuck in. So you're curling, almost doing a little crank, curling my back and my stomach, and then reaching out again. We're going to go for 10. Breathing out as you come in. If you feel your lower back at all when you reach the leg up, drop your leg down and tuck in. Curl and reach. Nice. We're going for 10. This is 5. Tucking in and reach. If your balance is really struggling, try and find a chair to hold on to. Tuck. Don't hurt your back. If you can, go to a capsule T. If your back hurts, drop the leg. And squeeze. Connect the abs. Tuck in. For three more. And tuck. Coming in. Two. Very nice. Balance. Try and stay balancing. And last one. Very nice. Arms up to the side. You're going to tap that leg down and up. Just squeezing from the glute. My back stays dead still. I'm putting my belly button in. Down and up. For five. Four. Pull your tummy in. Three. Two. One. Come and stand up. Very nice. Just give a little stretch to your low back. It can sometimes grip in here. Make sure your stomach is pulled in nice and tight. And if you do feel it in your back, don't lift your back leg too much. Right, let's go on to the other side. We're going to reach and tuck. As I tuck, I curl everything towards each other. And as I reach, I imagine someone's pulling my arms and my leg away from each other. And tuck. Nice and slow. Reach and tuck. Very nice. Four. Pull your belly button in and curl in. If this hurts your back, drop that leg a little bit. And tuck. For five more. Four. Very good. Try and curl in. Three. Coming in, and one, hold it out there, arms out to the side for balance, tummy pulled in, the leg goes down, and up, for five, four, three, put your belly button in, away from the floor, two, one, very nice, from here we're going to do a curl down to the floor, breathing in. And breathing out, belly button pulled in, tilt your pelvis. Chin down onto your chest, relax the arms, relax the head. And start curling down one vertebra at a time. When you get to the floor, put your hands down and walk your feet back into a full plank. If you need 
need to for the full tank exercises. If you need to use either a couch or your bed, you can always go into a plank on an elevated surface, okay? So Tracy, for some of these, you might need to use your bed. All right. We're going to go now. For this one, you can stay here in a nice plank, shoulders over your hands, back nice and flat, tummy pulled in. You're going to push your hands into the floor and put your bum back towards your heels. And coming back. As you come back, pull your tummy in, squeeze your bum. And bum to heels. And back. Shoulder blades pull down your back, tummy in. Three. And back. Tummy pull in all the time. Four. Bum back and plank. Make sure you pause in a plank. Five. Very good. Make sure you breathe out, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. Seven. Bend the knees and eight. Nine, we're nearly there, we're going to ten. And ten, pushing back. Good, and bring one knee down and the other knee down. Right, I'm grabbing my mat, if you need your mat for your knees. We're going to go into a push-up. So, for a push-up, you want your hands directly under your shoulders, so they mustn't be too wide. As we come down, you're going to make sure that your elbow tries to graze your ribs. I don't want elbow sticking out like this. And you only go down as much as you can manage, keeping good form and not like sinking and arching your back. So we're going to go on our knees. Unless you're very strong, Vanessa, you might be great with your full push-up. Tummy pulled in, squeezing the bum. We're going to go into a push-up and then a child's pose. So I'll show you doing the modified from here. Hands under the shoulders. You want to go forward into a push-up. And then we're going to go back into a child's pose. If you're doing a full push-up, the same again. Push-up. Knees down into child's pose. Okay, we're going to go for 10. Let's go in three, two, one, shoulders down, tummy in, let's go down. Pushing up, elbows grazing, go back into child pose. Come back into your push up position, squeeze your bum, let's go. Pushing up, tummy in all the time, make sure you don't arch your back. By going into a child pose, we actually get the best form with each push up. Because it gives you that little bit of a rest. So when you come back, you're feeling great, tummy in. Nice. And back, we've got five more. You can go full push-up. With a full push-up, you've got to make sure you're not arching your back. We've got four more. Squeezing up and back. Nice. Three more, tummy pulled in all the time. And back, very nice. Good form, guys. Two more. Push. And back. Last one. Push. And back. Come into your hands and knees from this position. So from here, I know Melanie did this with me yesterday, we're going to do opposite hand and leg reaching away from you. And we're going to tuck in and extend. What I want though with this, and if you just watch me, is the temptation when you extend your opposite arm and leg away is to kind of arch your back. You want to keep this nice and solid. So you're tucking under, your back stays dead flat. You imagine someone's pulling your hand and foot away from you. And then you tuck. And we curl like an air crunch. Okay, let's go for 10. I want you to imagine your stomach is dead still, your back is dead still. In the extension, let's go. Reaching away from each other. And tuck. Make it an ab crunch. And stretch. Back, face back. Don't arch your back. And crunch. Three. Shoulder blade pulled away from your ear. As you stretch out, really tuck your pelvis under. Squeeze your tummy. And crunch. Four. The crunches start to feel like an oblique twist. Nine. Five. Reach control your back. Shoulders down, tummy in, don't 
Touch your back. Beautiful. It's very slow. Seven. Eight. Lovely. Stretch. Nine. Imagine someone pulling your foot and pulling your arm away from you. And squeezing in. Last one. And tuck. From here, we're going to keep that right leg up and go up into a downward dog with your one leg in the air. If this is too tricky, you have both feet on the floor and you're doing a downward dog. Okay, so my leg that I was extending was my right leg and it's up. Nice. From here, we're going to go down into a plank. If you can keep your right leg off the floor, hold it there and back. Tummy pulled in. From here, the other option is just going from a downward dog to a plank. And back. So you've got two options. We come forward, keep that leg elevated, and push back. Three more. Plank. Very nice. Tracy, make sure, yeah, if you want to do it with both feet on the floor, that's absolutely fine. Come into a plank. One more. And back. Very nice. Feet up, knees down. Let's change sides. So now we're going to remember in this position, don't arch. Your back is flat, my pelvis is tilted. My leg can't go high, but it can go long. I'm going to try and touch the wall behind me. Let's go. Reach. And tuck. Curl in. Add in. Two. Stretching away. And in. So rather think of stretching away from yourself rather than lifting up. Nice. Four. Tummy pulled in. And tuck. Five. Stretch the other leg away. Six. Very nice. Stretching it away. Beautiful. And seven. Nice and slow and controlled. Eight. Reach and tuck. Breathing out as you tuck in. Nine. And last one, ten. Now remember, either both feet on the floor, or you're going to tuck your right foot under, and I'm going to lift up into a downward dog. Left foot in the air. So we can either have both feet going into a plank, and downward dog, or one leg up, and let's go. Plank, keep that leg off the floor. For five. Stretch. Four. And stretch. Three. You can put the foot down and just do a downward dog. Two. Normal plank. And up. Very nice. Last one. Plank. Downward dog. And coming down. Well done. Let's roll out the wrist. It's amazing how working slowly actually gets such a sweat going. Wow. Okay, let's stand up. So you're going to stand with your right leg in front, left leg wide behind. From here, we're going to be going down into a lunge. So before we start, just check, and you can check in your camera, that when we lunge down into the middle, your knee is over your ankle. So you don't want to be doing this as you lunge. You're not going forward. We're literally going down. So just check in your camera. Maybe you open your feet a little bit. Make sure your legs are wide enough. Okay. So check your lunge. Now, hands behind your head. Tummy pulled in. And we're just going to lunge down. And squeezing up. From the front, you've got to make sure... Let your knee stay facing forward. I know if, you're, if you don't like lunges, give this a try. If this gets too uncomfortable, you're going to do a wall squat. Four, make sure your weight goes down evenly between both legs. So you're not going forward. My weight literally goes up and down. Mel, think of going down more, less forward, more down. So don't go forward as you go. If you saw, I want you doing a wall squat. Okay, we've got three more like this. If the lunges get too much, please do a wall squat. 
two, hands up. One, we're going to add to this. We're going to go down and twist to our right leg. Up and up. So I'm twisting towards my front leg. Down. My front leg is my right leg. Tracy, which leg is twist to your front leg? And down. That's it. And up. As you twist, breathing out. Up. And up. Four more. Lunge. Twist. Make sure you twist into your front leg. And up. Three. And up. Good. Two more. Down and up. Tummy pulled in. Last one. Arms up. Hold it here in a lunge. Look at my knee position. My knee is directly over my ankle. Make sure your front leg is far enough forward. We're going to pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, coming in, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stepping it forward. Shake out the legs. Well done. Very good. The most important thing with the lunge is that your front leg, first of all, stays facing forward. Make sure it doesn't roll in or roll out. And that when you right down at the bottom of your lunge, your knee is directly over your ankle. Most people do that. And the knee is in front. Okay, so really watch that you're wide enough. Let's go. Other side. Hands behind your head. Tummy pulled in. Nice and slow. Down and up. As you come up, then you're tightening all these muscles. That's it. Weight goes down evenly between you. So I'm literally dropping down and up. That's it. I'm not going forward. My weight goes down and up. Very nice. For four more. Much better this side. Three. If your knees get sore, please stop and go into wall squat. Two. One. Very nice. Now we're going to add the twist towards our front leg. Breathe out as you twist and up. Lunge. Down and up. Three. Good. And up. Four. Make sure that your legs stay dead still when you twist. Nothing happens below the waist. The legs stay facing forward. Nice. We've got two more. My legs are starting to ache. I hope yours are too. One more. Good. Arms up to the ceiling. We pulse down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stepping forward and relax those legs. Well done. Shake them out. Very nice. Come now on your back. We're going to give the legs a little break. We're going to go into some abs. So we're going to start with our basic ab crunch. Lie on the floor on your back. Knees bent, knees up to the ceiling. Hands clasped behind your head. Make sure your elbows are, up, are in your periphery. So you can see your elbows a little bit. And for 10, we're just going to breathe out. Lift up, chin onto our chest. Imprint the spine. And crunching up. As I crunch, we're going to pretend it's purely the head, the abs bringing you up. And down. Breathing out. And down. Nice. Chin onto your chest. Stomach pulled in all the time. Make sure that your abs are doing the work and not the head and shoulders. Tuck your chin onto your chest. Look at your belly button. Very nice. We've got five more. I've just got my hand down so you can see what I'm doing. Nice. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze your tummy. Good. For three more. Turn on to your chest. Two. And one. Hold it here. Chin stays on your chest. Head and shoulders stay up. Hands on your thighs. We're going to pulse as you slide your thighs up. Look at your belly button. Tummy pulled in. Let's go. Slide your thighs. If your neck is sore, protect it with your hands. Otherwise, slide. Put your chin on your chest. You've got ten. Nine. Hands on your thighs. Eight. 
you curl down, you look at your belly button. Turning down all the way. I want this super slow. Good. Let's go together. Breathing in, arms up, knees bent. Breathing out. Curl that pelvis. Keep that C-shaped curve. Good. Well done. And curling down. As you curl down, look at your belly button. Slowly. Beautiful. We've got five more. Breathing in. And out. As you get to the top now, lift your hands above your head. Because you've all got this. Shoulders down. Breathing out to curl down. Look at your belly button coming in. One breath at a time. Nice. Four more. Breathing in. And out. Slowly and coming up. Nice extension. Mel, this is a great warm up to get you doing roll up. Turning down. Coming in. One breath at a time. We've got three more. Breathing in, arms up, breathing out, curl up, one breath at a time, tummy pulled in, extend, arms up, and curl, let's look at belly button, tummy pulled in, Woo. nice, two more, breathing in, and out, so when we do this very fast, we sometimes cheat ourselves, because slow is often much harder, Curling down, look at your belly button, tucking under, make a C-shaped curve as you roll down. Last one, breathing in, and out. Nice extension at the top, beautiful, and now you're going to curl down and come stretch on your elbows. Okay, so I'm resting on my elbows now. In this position, I'm still going to tilt my pelvis. So I'm still going to roll my pelvis so it's in a C-shaped curve. And bring my legs up to tabletop. Tucking my tummy in. That's it. Shoulders nice and tall. From here, make sure you don't sink into your shoulders. Push the floor away. And we're going to lengthen your legs away. Straighten your knees, keeping your tummy pulled in. And back. Make sure when you straighten your legs, you're not arching your back. You don't want to move your back. So only straighten the legs as much as you can, keeping your stomach pulled in. Beautiful. We're going for five more. I want a nice, long, elegant neck. Very good. Really pull your tummy in. Tracy, make sure you don't hurt your back. Good. Tummy in. Two more. Last one, hold your legs here. Slide your one foot down to your knee and slide it up. Keep your legs there. Slide the other one, tilt your pelvis, roll back on your pelvis. Make sure your lower back is flat on the mat. If you feel anything in your back, please hug your knees to your chest, okay? Or lie flat, you can also lie flat and do this. So if it's easier, lie off your elbows. That's it, we've got four more. Tuck your pelvis under. Three. Tummy pulled in. Two. And one. Very nice. Hold the leg there. Drop one leg straight down to the floor. And up. And other side. Tilt your pelvis as you go. And up. Three. Tummy in. If you lie on your back, lift your tailbone. And up. Five. We're nearly there. Take your pelvis under. Six. Two more on each side. Seven. And eight. And well done. Hug your knees to your chest. Very nice. So that's quite a tough one. So well done. You all did amazingly. Right, lying on your back, knees bent, heels as close to your bottom as you can. So with your hands by your side, I should be able to touch my heels with my fingers. From here, we're going to do a, a pelvic lift. We're not going to curl it up. You're going to tilt your pelvis, imprint, tummy in, and we're just going to lift straight up and down, but keeping that tilt in the pelvis. So I'm not arching my back. I've got the tilt. I'm pushing up through my heels. And we're just lifting the back up straight. 
squeezing above at the top. Push the heels away from you. Make sure you're pulling your belly button in. And I've still got the tilt in my pelvis. My pubic bone is still higher than my hip bones, even though I'm going up straight. Push through your heels. Squeeze your bum. For five. Four. Very nice. Three. Two. One. Hold it up there. Now, really tucking under. If this doesn't hurt your back, you're going to lift your right leg up and down ten times. Keep pushing through the left glute. If you feel your back, you're just going to lift the heel up. Okay, so really tilt. Squeeze your tummy. Lift. You can just lift the heel. That's it. We're going for ten. You've got five left. Just lift the heel if your back feels like it can't cope, but really push through that left glute. Squeeze. I want you to imagine you're going to lift that leg, but you're squeezing the leg. Nice. Hold it there. Tracy, you're just going to give me pulses. You're going to squeeze up with both your feet. You're going to squeeze your bum for 20. Okay, little squeezes up. The rest of us, right leg in the air. We're going down and push up. For 10, 9, squeeze to the left heel, 8, make sure your stomach is pulled in for all of us, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good, very good, feet down, hips down and relax, very nice. We're going to go again, lifting up and down straight for 10. Tuck your pelvis under. Put your belly button in. Push through your heels. Look up and down for 10. And down. Breathing out to lift. 9. Make sure you've got this tilt in the pelvis. 8. Squeeze your tummy. 7. Push your heels into the floor as you lift. 6. Four, very nice. Three, two, one. Now hold it there. All of us, push your right heel into the floor, hard as you can. Squeeze that right glute. Tracy, you're going to lift your left heel up and down. We're going to lift the leg up and down and tap. Push through that right side. Tuck your pelvis under. Squeeze that right glute. Try and keep your hips level. Breathing out as you lift for five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Feet down. Tracy, you're going to pulse for 20 little squeezes up. We're going to lift our right left leg up to the ceiling. And we're going down and push up through your heel. Eight. Seven, squeeze the bum. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Hug your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Well done, guys. Very good. Okay, right. From here, we're going to do a little bit more abs, but one last thing in a plank. So we're going to do threading the needle. So what you do is you're going to come onto your side in a side plank. You can either do this in a half plank. Both knees bent, body in a straight line. Your hips are lifted. And from here, you're going to thread the needle through and come up. Okay. In a nice straight line plank. Or we're going to do it in a full plank. Top leg is in front. Okay. So whichever you're going to do, we're going to go, tummy pulled in, let's go, three, two, one, that's it, and thread, lift your hips up, Tracy, that's it, you can go on your knees, but I want your hips off the floor, so make sure you're on your knees so you don't irritate your back, that's it, and up, tummy pulled in, for five, you rotate as you go under, four, lift your hips, Three, two, and one. Very nice. Let's go to the other side. We always have to do a little bit of side work. It's the hard.
promise for most of us, but we've got to make a balanced athlete or person. So, if you're on your knees, lift up your hips. So you get a nice straight line. Hand is directly on the shoulder. Otherwise, top leg in front, bend your knees. Make sure if you're on your knees, your knees are bent behind you. And let's go. Whoopsie. Two, make sure your hand is under your shoulder. That's not too far forward. That's it. Five. Four. Three. Very good. Two. Knee there. And one. And come and lie on your back. Well done. Rolling onto your back. Okay. We're doing our bleak twist now. So, clasp your hands under your head. Lift your chin onto your chest. On a breath out, so my chin is on my chest. Lift your tail tailbone. And you're going to straighten out one leg and twist shoulder to knee. Nice and slow. And then breathing out to change. Good, let's go. And change. Lift your tailbone. Make sure you don't arch your back. If this leg lowers down too much that you arch your back, lift it up higher. Lift your tailbone, tuck me in. Try and have your foot at your knee, so it's nice and pretty. For five. Head and shoulders up. Four. Beautiful, that's much better. Three. Two. Shoulder to knee. One. Have a little rest while I show you what we're going to do next. We're going to build on that. So from here, we're going to do three oblique twists, and then we're going to roll. So we're going to go one, two, three. Now I hold this position. I'm going to roll onto this elbow to the side. Now I'm going to use my obliques to bring you back. And then we change. One, two, three. And we roll onto the side. Use your obliques to bring you back. Make sure you don't arch your back. Your leg must be high enough that your tailbone can be lifted. Let's go. One. Two, three, and roll onto your side, balance, come back, breathing out, let's go, one, two, three, and roll, and back, we've got three more, one, shoulder to knee, two, head and shoulders up, three, roll, and back, nice. One, make sure your tailbone is lifted, don't arch your back. Three, roll. And back. One more. One, two, three, one more each side, I should say. And roll. And back. Make sure you're not arching your back as you roll. You stay tucked in. Two, three, roll. And back. And hug your knees into your chest. Well done. Good. Hug your knees in. Rock your knees side to side. Nice. Now from here, you can relax your legs. You just keep them still. And just roll your head side to side. Roll it to the right on the floor. And the left. Just kind of release the tension in the neck. And just keep rolling side to side. That's it. Very nice. Straighten out your left leg. Keep your right knee in at your chest. Nice. Left leg on the floor. And let's pull this right knee across your body to the left side. Try and get the knee down on the floor. And look at your right hand. Very nice. And stretch and breathe. Good, come back, bring that knee into your chest, or the right knee. Hold behind your right thigh and straighten that leg up to the ceiling. And from here, it doesn't matter if you can't quite straighten the knee, you're going to point and flex the foot. This just helps to stretch all the nerves in the muscles in the muscle. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and point and flex. Good, change legs. Right leg straight, left knee in at your chest. 
And let's pull that knee across you to your right side. Look at your left hand. Try and think of getting that top knee down onto the floor if you can. And your shoulders stay on the floor facing the ceiling. Good. Bring that right knee back to the uh, left knee back to the middle. Grab behind your thigh and straighten that leg up. Nice. Keep your head down if you can. Try and keep your head relaxed and point and flex the foot. Nice. What you can do with this is if it's too tight, you can grab a towel and hold a towel around your thigh as well. Not now, but for next time, I'll remind you. Very good. Bring both knees into your chest and roll up into sitting. Nice. Let's roll those shoulders. Good. Well done, guys. You did good. I'm very impressed. You're all my newbies. I'm so proud of you. 